so im Gespräch mit Evil Jared, dass ich ganz vergessen habe, mich einzustöpseln, dass ich überhaupt die Regie hören kann. In der Schule kann ich mich entschuldigen. Thank you. Need that I need right? that. The Otherwise, I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Saying, right? Somebody has to translate exactly. so you can understand it. Okay, wait. Okay, now I'm going to say this in English. Okay. Okay, um, I don't know, Schwarzenegger. Now they translate that. They tell you what it means in German, right? Rambo? Oh, oh, that's... Oh, I'm sorry, that's I shouldn't rude. do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, it's great to have you here. And we're going to be playing beer pong, but I did want to talk to you about a couple other things before... Okay, and it's started. okay that we speak in, in, in English yes. to German TV. Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, I understand that. You're also intelligent young people. But it's Deutsch. live. we got, like, no time for undertitles. I mean, there can't be somebody, like, backstage live writing in there. You know how many there. interns we have here? They're sitting like this. Wow. Yeah, that's it's crazy. really... It's, this is, like, really live, easy television. No? Huh? Okay. We can speak English. We'll just... Maybe, maybe we should... Slowly, down, yeah. very long, long. So tell me, um, when was the last time somebody said to you, who are you, what do you do for a living, and what did you answer? Oh, it was on the subway over oh, really? on the way to the, uh, to the airport today. Yeah. Like, they have no idea. Really? Yeah. Well, dude. Okay. Look, first of all, I'm in a band from, like, 15 years ago. <laughs> Second of all, you know, I'm just the bass player. Third of all, we weren't that good to begin with. Yes, you were. You, know? you guys so, sold millions and millions of records, and you're on the air all the time right yeah, now. Yeah, but you know, like, back in, like, early 2000, every fucking band sold millions and millions of records. I mean, the Spin Doctors sold a million <laughs> records, that, and they're horrible. You know? Okay. So, all right. So you're fine when people don't know who you are? Yeah, perfectly okay. fine. Or do you actually enjoy not being um, no, recognized No, it's very, very nice to be able to be anonymous. Mm -hmm. Like, you know... I'm right at sort of like the level now where like if I really wanted to go out and have people recognize me because like a lot of times I'm on TV and I have those big stupid looking uh, sideburns, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the only asshole running around with those. So <laughs> if they see somebody with that, you know, it's either me or, or Carl Yastrzemski. So they figure out, okay, so it's got to be the guy from the Blood Hunger. But you shave him off and, you know, you can, I can run around pretty much anonymously. Um, but people who do recognize you, do they get, do you notice that people get a little scared sometimes because of the, some of the stuff you do on the air? Or they like a little bit like, ooh, we should be nice to him because he might do something that is what, crazy? like with the puke and, and the crap yeah. like that? Well, I mean, I think they realize that that is pretty much just an act. Like, I'm just a normal guy and, you know, the, the, the role that I play is some asshole that goes around puking and pissing on people, right? I mean, if they don't, you know, if they don't think that it's an act, what, what do they think? Wrestling is real too? It isn't? <laughs> Oh, okay, I won't tell anybody, but, <laughs> but I thought it was real. Behind, but... I watched it no, all the time. No, I mean, yeah, oh, okay. seriously? What are they, they think John Malkovich is really trying to kill the president all the time? Like, oh. It, it, it's an act, right? Oh, yeah. okay, I, I get mean, it. Admittedly, admittedly, <laughs> I got a little far into the act. Like, I wanted to, to, to play, like, the biggest drunk in town. Because when I was a kid in high school, mm -hmm. okay. right, you know, they asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And a lot of guys like, I want to be a fireman, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer. What I always wanted to be was the biggest drunk that town had ever seen. Really? And yeah. how long did it take you to achieve that? Um, it was before I graduated. <laughs> Very well done. Yeah. So, you know, I, you know, I'd always would like, you know, drink a lot because I thought it would just be cool. And along the way, somehow I turned into an alcoholic. I'm not sure how that worked out. But you're still working on that, too, though. Well, you know, you have, like, these alcoholics, like you see, you know, laying around the bus station, mm -hmm. you know, pissing their pants, which sometimes is me, too. But also, <laughs> okay. you know, I like to consider myself more of, like, a high-functioning alcoholic where, you know, people will pay me to show up at clubs and get drunk. So, you know, it's like... That's really actually well done, I must yeah, say. Yeah, that's not a bad job, right? You yes. know, I spent a lot of years getting drunk for free. Now they pay me to show up <laughs> and drink all their liquor. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking so, of which, you're playing tonight um, uh, in the Stahlwerk in Düsseldorf. Yeah, yeah. You guys can still go. You can still go. Yes, in Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf. So if you're seeing this, you're probably in the Düsseldorf area. And well, you know, do you know who's in the show with me tonight? No, who? The legendary Money Boy. Cool. You know this guy, the yes, Austrian rapper? Absolutely. Yes, yes. So have you been working on what you're going to be doing tonight, or is it going to be kind of on You know, the I'm really not the guy in charge, oh. right? You know, I'm just along for the ride, pretty much. The dude that's in charge, they call him Mr. Jägermeister. So, you know, I have a few shots, then Mr. Jägermeister, he starts telling me what to do. So, I haven't, I haven't had any today, so I don't know what to do. But, um, right now, I'm confused. You shouldn't be. It's huh? very clear here what's going to happen here for the next couple minutes. I, I promise No, not you. here. I'm talking oh, about, I'm talking about oh, at the okay. stall work. All right. Yeah, um, no idea. Speaking about Jägermeister, you uh, did beer pong with my uh, lovely colleague Natasha. Yes, Natasha and I yeah. met last week. That hasn't aired yet. No, so it hasn't I don't, aired yet. Can we really talk? 
talk about that yet? Yeah, yeah. Because in the that. world of TV, like that hasn't happened yet. Right? That's that's in the future. Even but though in reality it's in the past. It doesn't matter. We'll talk about it. Anyway, we'll talk about it anyway. It's all a bit crazy. So yeah. then it's not going to be a surprise when they see it. All right. So we played it beer matter. pong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were just doing a regular interview. You know, we we're just shooting the shit. And I was scheduled to do a beer pong tournament at this uh, Rock and Revere Festival mm -hmm. because I was the. I'm not sure exactly what I was. I think they called me the... The face of the festival. I think the social media ambassador or something okay. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever it was. They had me set up to do a beer pong tournament. Now, these guys have never set up a beer pong tournament. Mm -hmm. So they think, okay, here's what will be hilarious. Instead of beer, we're going to have Jägermeister. So it was like a Jägermeister pong tournament. And oh my, have you That's tried it with that stuff? No, I've oh never done beer God. pong before, actually. I know I'm American. I know I should, I should have, but I've never done beer pong How before. How do you say Auf Deutsch shithoused? Uh, voll bis oben hin, total dicht, yeah, oder uh, so. Uh, ne? yeah, yeah. So, so there are moments when you are really, we really know that you're more drunk than you are other times. If someone has to tell me about it the next day, That's then drunk. I think Absolutely. I was pretty drunk. Like they told my my uh, manager told me that I was at the after show party, and I was like screaming at the festival <gasps> organizers because they hadn't gotten me my golf cart. <laughs> Oh, that's not very nice. I mean, I'm a dick, right? I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you shouldn't have, but that's okay. No, no, that's um, very unhoflig, I believe. Unhoflig, unhoflig. absolutely. No. We're going to be playing beer pong with uh, Peter. Um, I do want to know, who was your music teacher in high school? Do you remember? In high school? Yeah. Uh, d -d 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 what was his name? Oh, uh, his name was Mr. Windsor. And was Mr. Windsor somebody who kind of said, if you're a drunk, you should also be a musician? No, he didn't mention, he didn't mention uh, alcohol at all, but he was like a beatnik. Like, you ever watch uh, The Simpsons? Yeah. Okay, you know Ned Flanders' dad? Yeah. Like, the boop, bop, beat, that boop, bop, boop. Hey, cats, see if you can catch this beat. That was him. So oh, I'm pretty okay. sure with beatniks, alcohol wasn't the thing. I think it was drugs. And I'm pretty sure that dude was stoned all the time. Well, Mr. Windsor is one of our most um, treasured viewers. So we're going to say hi to Mr. Windsor right now. Uh, you know, I graduated 25 years ago. I know. I'm, I'm, that guy's got to be, have been dead for decades. I'm lying now anyway. But I'm not <laughs> lying about that. We're going to be playing beer pong in a couple of minutes. Thank you so much for being here. Um, the pleasure's all mine. Yeah, really. Es, es ist mir ein Vergnügen. Vielen lieben Dank, dass du heute da bist. Oh. Um, und uh, super, dass ihr okay. mit dabei seid. Wir werden gleich, also ich werde als Amerikaner, das, the American team against the Germans, gleich hier bei ja. NRW Live. Auf jeden Fall dranbleiben. Erstmal ein bisschen Musik für euch.